Now, I hope you made it through today without any damage to property, vehicles, or yourself if you had to travel around the area. We still do have a flash flood watch that'll be in effect till 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Again, these green polygons, I did just post that to our social media pages. Those are all the river flood warnings across the area. Things are a lot drier, much improved here over the last several hours. Uh, nice to see a dry SPID there. That being said, there's likely going to be areas of ponded water throughout the entire coastal bend here tonight. 71 right now, some rain cooled air and east wind at 11 miles per hour. The winds have been variable and gusty at times behind all of this activity with outflow. The winds are going to shift around and sometimes we get little pressure drops behind systems. So uh, while it's not overly windy, we've have had some gusts that have been around 30 miles per hour. Temperatures in the low 70s and a few spots in the mid to upper 60s here this afternoon. It is cloudy, but all that rain has moved off into the Gulf of Mexico where it will stay tonight. We're not going to see a reprise of the rain. Uh, it's going to be a lot drier and quieter here this evening uh, beneath the clouds. You can see still that green shade. That's the flash flood watch that's in effect for basically all of eastern and south Texas. We do have a few little cells out in Mexico per usual the last few nights. We'll have to keep watch on those, but compared to what we had today, it is going to be by and large a lot quieter and the forecast moving forward. This is going to look a little messy, but I wanted to describe what's going to be happening as to why the rain chances will be better one day and lower the next. So uh, the upper level energy that came through this morning moved in from the west. The eastern side of that energy is where the rain is. The western side, it's drier. So that is going to move out into the Gulf tomorrow and put southeastern Texas in line for better rain chances. You see the little contour showing that flow coming in from the north and west. That should mean a drier outlook for Thursday. But in relation to South Texas, that low wants to move back over us. And with that movement, you see the contours putting that onshore flow onto us. That will put us into more of an unsettled position with respect to where this low is on top of us. So Friday, Saturday should be uh, days with hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. That's the energy. This is me just now putting the energy on the graphic and showing you how the rain mimics where that energy is. So that low pressure feature to our east will throw rain into southeastern Texas tomorrow. We stay dry. This then moves farther inland Friday, Saturday, and you'll see the rain follows suit with that rain moving back over uh, the South Texas region. Totals after today look like this. So up near a half a foot in southeastern Texas, one to three inches in the central Texas Gulf Coast. And in the coastal bend, we're not going to tally up a whole lot more compared to, to what we got today. One to two inches up in Refugio and B counties, half inch to an inch in Corpus Christi, and then a quarter to a half inch out in the brush country. Tonight's going to be dry outside of a spotty shower overnight, mid 60s tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll catch a mix of sun and clouds for Thursday and temperatures back into the middle and lower 80s. Rain chances again, just a stray or isolated activity shower or storm on Thursday. Scattered showers, isolated storms, a little better of a chance for rain Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, as we head into this weekend. Tonight, a lot quieter, some rain cooled air, mid 60s overnight, only a spot shower at best. Tomorrow, back into the low 80s, way less action, just an isolated shower. Southeast winds are going to come back about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Unsettled, but not as active as today's fiasco was that deluge this morning and early afternoon. It's going to be more of a hit and miss shower and storm chance through the weekend. And again, rain totals are going to average between a quarter of an inch to maybe two inches uh, throughout the coastal bend through Monday. Leslie. All right, Alan, thank you so much.